Hey guys, watching Volgor's beer reviews. This time I'm reviewing Oatmeal Stockyard Stout, or Stockyard Oatmeal Stout. Deliciously creamy stout in the Irish tradition with its rich tan intact. This deep and dark colored beer has the aroma and flavor of chocolate, roasted oats, and coffee all derived from the specialty malts used in the brewing process and I don't know, whatever. Yeah, looks pretty good. And has a very old man. As there's, what do you call it? Um, spokesperson or something. Spokesman. Spokes old man. Uh, what's left? 5.2 alcohol by volume. Brewed in San Jose, California. Joseph Sproul Brewing Company. Um, this was a dollar at Trader Joe's. So we'll see how good it is. It does look pretty dark. Hold the light. Yep, I cannot see through it all, so that's a good sign. Um, brewed on best consumed before 2 11 15, so it's plenty fresh. I wouldn't mind if it was old either, I don't care. As long as it was, you know, stored in a good place. Um, yeah, one dollar beer. Let's see how it goes. Wow, that is chocolatey. Look at that. It looks like a chocolate shake. Okay, beer advocate. I don't really, it smelled like the, I don't really smell the chocolate. But it does smell dark. Dark and malty. Look at that. Mm, that is dark and yeah I don't know uh, beer advocate scores 87% the bros 91% outstanding not bad for a dollar beer uh, reviews 348 reviews 622 ratings the average review is 3.86 which is pretty high for an average review usually it's a three point something or less but almost four that's a good that's another good sign Oatmeal Stout, blah, 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 I already said that. I guess that's pretty much everything I've already said. Except the EBU. EBU. International IBU. Don't know how, what the IBU is, but it doesn't say on Beer Advocate or on the bottle. Oh, well, I can tell you. Like, not exactly, but I can tell you if it's bitter or not. Right. Okay, so here we go. Already getting lots of lacing. Ants going crazy on my near beer. I don't know why. Damn it, I missed. All right, enough stalling. Let's get to it. Mmm, that is pretty good. I don't know if it's it's not the best uh, dark beer I've had. It's definitely no Guinness. Um, it's better than that Murphy's I had. The Murphy in the in the, with the nitro can. Or nitro ball in the can. Uh, that was just way too sweet. What's another one I've had? Um, there's the winter solstice seasonal ale, but that's not really a stout. It's just like a caramel, more of a beer. I don't know. It's not really a stout though. Um, can't really think of all of them off the top of my head. Oh, there's a Portland Double Scott. That's dark, but not an oatmeal stout. It's another oatmeal stout. Eight. There's an eight ball one. That was good. Um, was there an Nkasi? I can't remember. I have to go to the porch room later. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's thin. It's not really bitter, but if you aren't a real beer drinker like somebody that would drink IP, IPAs or dark beer on a regular I don't want to say regular basis but you know enough to know what they taste like and what to expect Duh. that's used to it um, but it's what it's 
we don't really get the chocolate as much. I mean, it's dark, don't get me wrong, but I don't really get the chocolate myself. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, take this to the porch and I can where all my other <clears throat> beers are at. Um, nope, there isn't any up there. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, basically, it is dollar a beer. It is pretty hard to find unless you go to Trader Joe's. I've never seen it except for Trader Joe's. And there's a step. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now where can I can set up my... Because I just hold my camera like that. Yeah, so this beer, my rating, um, I guess it's 7.5. It's good, but it's not quite that good. Like, for example, up there is 8 Ball Stout. I think that's better. It has more of a deeper, darker taste. Um, just a better dark beer all, all around. Even the Beck's Dark, I think, tasted, well, I don't really remember. It's been a while, so... Maybe this is about a tie with Beck's Dark, but I remember Beck's Dark being pretty good, so maybe not. Maybe Beck's Dark is better. Um, any dark beer over there? I don't think so. Um, and around, oh, over there, around the caliber of Beck's. Oh, there's the Guinness. So it must be there yeah Portland black watch that one's a lot darker and more of a molasses flavor and the black beet porter is way be better it's like second place compared to Guinness um, but some people might prefer the black beet porter over Guinness it just depends and what's left um, oh negro modelo which that is, that is sort of similar. It's still thin and easy to drink. And well, this is, this is more expensive. That's like about eight or nine dollars a six pack versus six six pack. Um, another one. But I don't know where. I don't know what I did with it. Um. Hmm. It was not Black Portobos, Portland. Portland. Portland, Portland, Portland. There it is. I'm sitting stout. That is really stout. If you take a drink of this and you're not used to dark beers, you will have a beer face and you might spit it out. This is very black and I did not rinse it out before I set it there, so I might have to do it later. Um, yeah. If I set that there, would that look like the beer that goes to this? Yes, but that does not taste like it goes to this. This is way darker and richer. Um, is there another one? Pilsner. Here's the near beer from a different country with 2.4% ABV. Yeah, so I guess this pretty much covers it. Um, oh wait, there was one more. I always forget. And that is the Shock Top Chocolate Wheat. Anheuser's take at a dark beer. Um, I think, I think it's the closest they've came to a dark beer. And this, I should not taste just like Cocoa Pebbles. But, I kind of like what Cocoa Pebbles taste like. So, this is a good dessert beer. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, is there anything left for me to say? Let's see. It's, it's thin, light, refreshing, but still, it's not just drink, it's not beer water, it actually has flavor. You can taste the molasses and the, uh, the roasted barley and whatnot that makes it give that darker, richer flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, down wrong too.
it's got good foam, good fizzle. Like, you know, some beers you get to the head, and it's like gross, but this, it's good. It's like whipped cream off a, off a mocha or something. So yeah, I got, I gotta say this is good, but it's not. I don't th think it's great or outstanding. I'm very surprised by Beer Advocates Review to say it's great or outstanding. I mean, if you just had this and you've never had a Black Butte Porter or a Guinness or even an 8 Ball Stout or uh, Obsidian, um, yeah. I mean, if you if you compare this to Shock Top, the Shock Top Chocolate Wheat, then I'd say, yeah, this is a 10 compared to that. But compared to all the other good stouts that, that I've had, I don't know how many I'm missing out on. Oh, there's also Mississippi Mud, but that's um, that's got the, the dark beer and the pills that are mixed together. So, you know, it's dark like this. It's it's even more thinner. But it's still, it's still close. It's still, it's still, you know, a darker beer. Yeah. So, it's good. I give it... One and a quarter thumbs up, I guess. It's not not that way, but it's pretty close to it. Um, what else is there to say? I don't know. Yeah, it's the greatest thing is it's a dollar. You can't complain about that. So if you want a, a good stout and you don't want to you know, get something too expensive, you only want to get one and try it out, track down to Trader Joe's and try out Portland Noble Scott. Where to put it? Oh, I guess I left it in the garage. Um, the Trader Joe's Dark Beer. What was it called? Oh, well. This has gone long enough. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, see you later.